I cannot open this. Why not? Why cannot open this? Hey, welcome back. In today's video, I was preparing something special. Uh, as I mentioned in my first Hot Wheels video, my passion for cars and basically collecting cars is coming from my father's, obviously. And he has a super, super nice Matchbox collection. And this Matchbox collection, it's um, actually started to grow when he was a child and my grandfather traveled many times abroad and he always brought home some special matchbox piece. This big box of matchboxes had a very precious place in my grandparents' apartment and I remember when I was a kid we went there many times and few times my father just took this box out and opened it and he showed me his old matchboxes and I remember we opened the boxes each by each and, and put out the old cars and he explained to me oh you know this car is this or this is a Bentley or this is an old Rolls Royce and I remember this uh, Sunday afternoons when we were sitting there in the kitchen and just talking about these old cars and I still remember the smell of these old boxes and old cars. It was just passed through me, father, to, to son and son to daughter and um, it's it's pretty emotional for me because uh, you know I know the story of these cars I, I didn't buy them in a vintage shop I know the story that uh, my grandfather bought it to my dad and uh, I'm pretty sure I going to pass this to my kids uh, if I gonna have kids and you know it's not something like you know you just you just bought you, you, you got it and and it's somehow it's, it's more precious really family treasure I would say and uh, yeah I would just like to show to you shortly because yeah they they vintage stuff so they all from the 60s and I think the models just look amazing and also the packaging is just so different like now in these days and um, I, I just show a few of them and I open the boxes and I think it's also a sort of special message in this because you know you cannot see these cars anymore on the street they, they disappeared and you can still kind of um, conserve them or conserve the essence of these cars as a toy so you can still have as a sentimental little object with you you know in 50 years when you cannot see anymore a, a Porsche 911 on the street but you can only have it in the museums and, and as a toy so you can still have the essence of the car with you. I will show to you now um, some, some of my favorite cars. I would say uh, the Bentley it's, it's just so cool because actually we saw so much Bentleys last year in Goodwood and I remember how enormously huge they are and it's just so tiny here and um, I just want to open as well I mean I haven't opened this box since 20 years <laughs> something like that um, yes there we go so it's super cool Maybe I will show to you a little bit closer. And uh, what is this? It's a Rolls Royce. Stop two British cars on top of each other. I love the packaging as well. And I showed you because, for example, I have few few Daimlers here. One, this is here, is it? Yes, this is this is the Benz limousine. <laughs> And I love the painting just behind the car. It's this typical German landscape. And, and they just paint it on. And it's the same with the Opel. You can see the, the German landscape and in the background. It's very detailed. They, they really took care about the, the essence of the brands. And uh, well, the British cars, they don't have landscapes on it. Yeah. Oh, look how nice is this. It's so beautifully detailed super nice i think this matchbox edition called the models of yesterday these are really from the beginning of the 20th century this from 1910 benz limousine nicely done oh also the seats a little bit flew out i should maybe take a brush and just a little bit clean the dust off but for me somehow it's 
it's nice that they're a little bit dusty. You, you can see that it's a little bit old. They were in the boxes. They're really more than 50 years old. Somehow, the dust belongs to them. Oh, look, it's a Volkswagen bus. What happened here? This is a Renault from 1911. Whoops, the seat. So this is the Renault. This is uh, this was one of the first Renault. It's from 1911. Uh, I just showed this is a this is an old track. This looks very cool. Yes, there we are. Look how cool is this? <laughs> I can even move this. Wow. And also the brands are doing more vintage uh, vintage collections and not even in, in models but also let's say in sneakers it's very fashionable to have something from the 80s styles let's say and uh, it was also cool that Matchbox did this vintage collections and which is even better they're also doing now vintage collections that I just ordered this car this Mercedes-Benz they also came out with a vintage rally car and this is very special for me because this car was driven by a female racing driver Yuri Osquit was the the winner in this car and the champion in this car so i was very very happy to to get this so matchbox is going on a good way in this uh, vintage mania and i just wanted to have a short video just to show to you guys where i started and where my passion is really coming from for collecting small cars collecting uh, matchboxes and hot wheels and i just wanted to show you this uh, vintage collection and i hope you like this short video please subscribe for my channel and follow me on instagram on the girls loves cars and i'm gonna come back very soon with my next video so see you soon